On this fine March day, we are starting a smelt that was promised two months ago. We're gonna take the bog ore that we managed to collect with Cody from Cody's lab to make iron from scratch. So you're gonna burn out the bamboo. That's correct. And then layer in the charcoal and bog iron. Yes. And then right now the furnace here doesn't have a separate airport in it. Mm -hmm. What it has is a little channel that I've dug into it on this side. Yeah. Which is gonna meet up with that hole right there. And that's where we're gonna pump the air in. This so is a, a forge fan. And is that fire? Right in with this. No, this is just a green clay. Oh, that's interesting. Here. If we trim that together, this is what primitive technology uses for his experiments. Uh -huh. and we figured that'd be worth giving a go. Um, Do you just turn it back and forth? Yeah, just a whole bunch of that. It's it's a wooden. pretty decent airflow. Method two of blowing the air is, is bag bellows, which are right here. It's a felt hat. Huh? Yeah, I made that. What kind of hair is that? Um, it's made out of Navajo churro sheep. And then That's these are bag bellows. Uh, we've got. Uh, they alternate, so on the upstroke, you yourself are the valve. You open it, and then close it to shove the air through. Oh, okay. And then by getting a sequence, you're able to pump air through. This and then takes here, we've got a Japanese box bellows. This is a double-acting, uh, reciprocating piston design. So when it goes this way, it's drawing in air on this side, closes the valve here, blows the air into the secondary chamber, and you get oh, so yeah. air coming in here, air exiting out here on the upstroke, and I've then on seen the downstroke, it's exactly this. reverse. Yeah. That. This is a sewer PVC. pipe right here and yeah. a piece of ABS right here, and then. But you could make it out of wood tarp. if you were really. Yeah, yeah, if you had like large diameter bamboo, or even if you just make like a wooden box, then you can get something. Well, I imagine just like piston. slats and make a barrel almost. Oh, that's true too. Oh gosh, a that's barrel, so smart. A barrel, uh, <laughs> barrel bellows. Yes. <laughs> that would be a cool you project. You could totally sometime. do it. The one yeah. challenge would be getting it all parallel on the inside, but you can fudge yeah. that a little bit with a rabbit. I, yeah, I was gonna say if you have if you have the right kind of baffling, then you can fudge up that. This furnace is made out of cob, which is just a mixture of clay and straw. And for okay. us, clay means all the dirt here is clay soil about two feet down. So that's uh, Bonneville sediment, right? Yep, Bonneville sediment. So we've got the hole right here. You, you want some space between the air supply and the bottom. That makes and sense. You're not burning away your iron. Exactly. You want a little lake of fire and brimstone down here of silicas. So I'm just going to roll this back into place. Okay. Are you going to seal it with clay or is it just with its own yes. weight? Yes. Mostly its own weight should do it. Especially with how wet our soil is right now. But now all we need to do is set this uh, form on fire uh -huh. and then we can clean up the edges with some of this. And that should do it. Fast load, right? Fast load of work? 
Yep, this is the last load of ore. We're gonna throw in this uh, this last little cupful, and then we're gonna let it burn down. And there we go. In uh, I guess another 20 minutes or so, we'll know if this worked. Can you well, up? there's not really much to see. It's mostly just fire coming out. I cannot see a thing. It's blowing the fire straight. Okay. Um, oh, it's hard. It's baked clay. Yeah, there, there's no slag running out. Uh, so we didn't get it hot enough to actually melt it. But I, uh, so what are we thinking about that that slag? What is that? What are well, or rather the absence of slag, right? Um, uh, I remember you saying, Joseph, um, that the really slag indicates high quality ore. It can, it can, but having uh, the, the ore that we're using it doesn't have a whole lot of silica in it, so the ratio of slag to the good stuff is probably much favoring the good stuff. So you're saying that the absence of slag here does not imply that the bloom that we're not yes. going to have a bloom. It looks like the hottest part is actually up a little bit. It didn't all drop down to the bottom. The bottom looks like it's just plugged with ash. We've now burned off all of the water from the ore. The, uh, <laughs> It was an extremely elaborate roasting. <laughs> it is cool how it just like is so soft. Yeah, yeah. the sponginess. Crazy. That blew still my managed mind. to hold like, it. This was rock hard and now it's just kinda mm. just falls away. It's like the steam has been cooking through it and like softening it just like steamed vegetables. <laughs> when you think about wattle and daub houses, you're like, oh, abject poverty, horror horror. This is held out in the elements with no roof by itself for, you know. And, and there has expected. been a lot of snow and rain up here, so it's been pretty resilient. Uh, Waddle and Dob is not something to be trifled with. Uh, okay, so. okay. Uh, we need footage of this. Is it? Yep. Oh, that's actually Are melted. Are we seeing the slug? The yep. Slug. I can't talk today. Okay, it's dripping. It's dripping. Ah, uh, hey! There we go. Now that's probably not your iron. That's no, just that's the slag. Just that's the slag. It's probably also including some of the clay wall. Don't touch red hot iron. Don't, don't touch black hot iron. In fact, don't just, just don't touch hot iron. This doesn't have very much iron in it. This is mostly like glass. I think we're getting air. Here's there another two chain. smaller hammers with convenient handles. What are those for? Uh, counting the bloom. Oh, we're gonna actually pound it? Yeah. Yep. Gently pound it to consolidate it. <laughs> we're ready for a moment of truth. You gonna pull it out of there with the shovel? I don't know, man. The truth is a lot to handle. You can't handle the truth. Well, we still got a lot of charcoal burning. Actually, no, we don't. That's burning down quick. Okay, I'm gonna knock off the top of the furnace. So you're pulling off I'm that whole top section glass. of the furnace? Yes, yeah, so you're pulling off the whole top okay. section of the furnace. Right. Three, two, one, and... Wow. There we go. There we go. Wow. That okay. is Wow, get a load of that. That is insane. And Cody's just going. No, 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 no! What are you doing? Okay. Well, I'm saving some charcoal. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, that's what you're doing. Maybe as well, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Be careful. Okay. How are we gonna grab hold of it? I've got gloves. Okay. Maybe I could. We're gonna. Um, if you dig out with the shovel, I'm hoping that it will. It's gonna be a mass appear. that's sitting here in the middle. Uh huh. So what we want to do is probably pound it loose. Good. Uh, um, with okay. with the hammer, just straight down into the with the wooden hammer. Um, yeah. yeah, you can use any of those. Um, the big one. Okay. I'm just gonna here we go, this. right? Boom. Oh, okay. So you're, you're just gonna pound it. Well, it's still. You know that might actually be the smartest way to consolidate it, rather than pulling it out and doing it on the ground. Yeah, I like that. Boom. Boom. Molten lava. Well, you think that's you think that's mostly slag or iron? Mostly slag. Iron does not behave like that at that temperature. Well, I That's still don't believe that whole temperature thing, but but whatever, I agree it's lag. Like. Alright. I just think there's no way in a high oxygen environment like that that you don't have like crazy temperature. Well, well the, the color. The color tells you the temperature. Okay, well, so there's that. I don't know what we think about that. I think you're right. It's well, probably we can slag. let it cool off and then we can pick through it. So, but it's this right here, cool. this right here is kind of our... Uh, That's a little puck of iron, probably. That's, this is probably the biggest chunk of iron we pulled out of here, right? There's a few more smaller chunks, right? There's a little chunk there, a little chunk there. But uh, hypothetically, that is the bloom. It deforms when we pound it, right? Yeah, it did until it started just shattering. Okay, so my understanding is that the test is that it needs to deform, not shatter. 
and it's definitely deforming. At these temperatures, it would form a black oxide almost instantly if it was metallic. Oh, that's that's why I'm not seeing anything shiny. Yep. Okay. It's tremendous. We'll let it cool off then. Yep. Oh, okay. So we think we have a blue. We think we have about two apples worth of iron. Yes. So the next stage is going to be to take an angle grinder to it to test. That's good. good. Don't celebrate too <laughs> much just yet. Oh well, I'll <laughs> celebrate after or before or both. When you grind it with the angle grinder, it's shiny. Okay. So this is the leftovers of the furnace that we made. And you can see that there is red dirt in all the places that were kind of cooked by the fire. And here is what we're hoping is our iron bloom. And that is looking really promising. And now we just need to take this back to the workshop and try chopping into it and see what happens. This is a piece of bloom from the smelt we did. Now let's see what we got. Nothing shiny there. Shiny However, nasty. if you flip it over on the other side, I ground a spot right here where you can see the sheen of metal. So we know that it smelted iron. We've made iron here. So that bit right there is probably just glass. But That's metal. Yeah. Look at that. Success. <laughs> Moderate success. Yeah. But success nonetheless. You have to bust it up and get those metal bits out of there. Yep. Probably do that in the forge. one day off your life. <laughs> right, but hey, maybe you have a lot of days to spare. Who knows, right? <laughs>